But one of the guys to get a lot of credit is Steve Blackman uh, for muscular development. I mean, those guys have done an extraordinary job for years and years and years to promote health, to promote fitness, to mo promote strength, to promote bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting, and all of those kind of things. So the contributions they made is gigantic, and I hail them for that. Sean, right here at the Arnold Classic with our 212 champion coming by way of, uh, where are you from, Australia? Kuwait. Kuwait, Australia. Yeah. Aust Australia, I get my pro card there. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> A year ago, you got your pro card in Australia, came here, you beat the defending champion, Hidetada Yamagishi, for the victory, for the conversation with Arnold again. How does it feel? Oh, it's my best feel ever, uh, you know, because the, not only Hidetada Yamagishi, there is more uh, hard to 12 are like David Hurley, uh, Jose Raymond, Guy Cicerino. Uh If anyone beat these guys, he, uh, he can't imagine what he do. You know? right. well, you've watched, so you, you watch these guys in your career coming up. So David Henry's a veteran. Jose Raymond is a veteran. Hidetada Yamagishi, a veteran. How does that make you feel that you actually now have surpassed them? You know, about my feel now, I'm very afraid about the next show. Every show, you know, when I get to a good place, I should be care about the next show. Right. And I'm very afraid about the next show. <laughs> but this one, this one, it's very nice to, to keep me work hard. And, because uh, I, I do my best for the next show, because uh, I save my place in uh, 212. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger said, don't cry on me when you're on that stage. Were you about to cry when you're talking to Arnold? No, 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 no. <laughs> Not cry, but you know, it's uh, my best moment. It's a lot of, it's a lot of work, yeah, yeah. and uh, you're only a, a little bit of the ways there. I know that you didn't start bodybuilding simply to be the Arnold Classic champion. You want to be the Olympia champion, and to do that, you're going to have to go through James Flex Lewis. Is that on your radar? Is that something that you dream about? To beat Flex Lewis, everyone who wants to beat Flex Lewis, but he's he's not easy, guys. He's very hard. He's he have a good shape. You know, he's up from me. He's king of the 212. When I beat him, maybe I uh, I can't sleep one week. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening out there in Kuwait? I talked to B Bader Budai in the Oxygen Gym and the Camel Crew and all that. Is the environment just conducive to eat, sleeping, and training, and it's just all about making the athlete a better bodybuilder? I mean, you guys training together, sharing together? The best things there, you know, because we are working like a family. Uh, we are not uh, work about uh, everyone personally, you know. Better uh, uh, he he put everything what the bodybuilders need in one place, gym, there is a diet food, a big supplement, the best maybe 12 or 15 brand of best supplement in the world, therapies massage, uh, Diet food, yeah, they, everything. Treat you like in one yeah. place, yeah. So the bigger question, I'm gonna let you enjoy your victory tonight, but we gotta think ahead. I was talking to my my partner over here, the online editor Ron Harris. The rumor is that you may be thinking about doing New York. Our ex I'm gonna give you our expert advice, even though you may not want it. We thought, what's in New York? If you're trying to beat the best bodybuilder in the world, New York is one of those things where you have to stay on your diet, then you have to have to rebound after your diet and start it all over again. We're of the opinion, the expert opinion. If you're going after the champ, you're going to need everything because he's training right now. He's not dieting down to compete sooner or later. You just won here. Is it not smarter to shut it down and go after the number one at the Olympia or go beat a couple of guys you've already beaten in New York? Because that's what you're going to wind up coming up against. Yeah, so about uh, my plan to New York, it's like because uh, I want to save my name on 212 stage. You know, about uh, my third... Uh, third show in my uh, in the pros, and I I want to be a very hard name like the, the other guys Jose Yamagishi uh, guys all all people know them, but for me I 
just one year in the pro world, I should be compete more uh, shows to show the people and to know the people about the Ahmed Iskani and how he can grow up and how he can he came uh, very sh uh, good shape in uh, every competition. Well, I'm sure you're going to consult with the camel crew. What are you going to eat tonight? Drink. I want to drink you're water. Eat, you want to drink? <laughs> I want to drink. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some liquids in this guy. And uh, before you decide to make your decision, make sure you come back to musculardevelopment.com. Let us know what your competition plans are. But right now, people know who you are. You just pulled off the biggest win of your life. The Arnold Classic champion in the 212-pound division by way of Kuwait, um, Ahmed Ash Kanani, here in Columbus, Ohio. Yep. One more, we want to say thank you to anybody? Thank you, guys. Thank you for my fans, my brother. Uh, for my, everyone, he pushed me up and supported me. Thank you, guys. All right, for Ahmed, I'm Sean Ray, musketdevelopment.com.